Hi, my name is Neil Redfern. I'm Principal Inspector of Ancient Monuments for Historic England in the York Office. My thoughts on Chartlandship um, have changed quite a lot um, in recent months. Um, I, I've personally been really challenged by some of the, the membership requirements of CIFRA, mainly because as an inspector of ancient monuments, I, I'm not a pure archaeologist. I, I'm in a world that's more akin to heritage management. And in some senses, the, the challenges I face are, are really dynamic, they're, but they're ever shifting. They, they're, they're comprised of multiple values. And I've, I've often looked at the CIFA guidelines and, and felt them too restrictive for where the thought processes are that I often have to go through. And since um, trying to explore it in more depth, what I've, what I've actually come across this, this idea is that Chartership offers an opportunity for us to start thinking more broadly about the skills and attributes you need to be really effective um, at, our, at our jobs, what we, what we love doing, um, when you start thinking of things like public value and impact and, and the legacy of our interventions. Now, I am really happy Chartership does not come without challenges. And I think the biggest challenge is actually where we go, either after a successful vote or an unsuccessful vote. Because how you start to structure and set out that framework I've just described is really, really important. How do we move from this idea of standards, um, uh, set criteria as experts to this more um, reflective um, framework looking at those attributes we think are most critical for delivering impact, delivering that, that, that longer, huger legacy um, that we all know is out there but which we want to talk about much more and I, I'm really interested about how we might actually do that.